now we turn to New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, who has been under fire because of the scandal about the traffic and that bridge, the George Washington Bridge here from New York to New Jersey. We have one of the central figures in the scandal weighing in tonight. But yesterday we sat down with the governor one on one and we'll bring you more of that interview as Governor Christie held his first press conference today, insisting the controversial lawyer's report exonerating him is going to stand the test of time. From the review team at the Gibson Dunn. governor today back in the lion's den, right, afternoon, giving it to the press just like the old days. Christine, stop. You have to get the facts right if you're going to ask me a question. Because this is my press conference, not hers. It's nice that you eventually got to the question. What was the first part? I did answer that. The single most important thing for me to do is to learn from this experience, to learn from what I've read and what I've heard, and to do my job. And he told me one of the lessons for staying steadier, calmer in public is not so much public. I think, you know, you can get caught up in this world and in this life pretty easily in a public life that becomes so public. Uh, and I'll tell you that what it's done for me is just I'm spending a lot more time at home than I ever have. Why did it take this crisis to bring you home more? Because I think that what happens is when you get involved in a public life that continues to get bigger and bigger, that you feel an obligation to be out there more. And I'm taking more control over what I want to do. We're thrilled that he is home more. And I actually think he's home more from a time perspective, but when he's home, he's much more present. Why do you think he is more present? Because he knows what's important. His um, wife, Mary Pat, 30 years together, they say, however rough this period, they know every hill, every valley. You sound like people who think this is going to be forgotten someday pretty soon. Wrong? I mean, I have no real opinion on that, but it doesn't matter to me. And if this means that from here to the presidency is impossible, because of the residue of it, if not the fact of it, our place right now is in New Jersey, and, um, and as far as the future, I think the future will take care of itself. Were you worried about his health? Um, I was not, not because of this issue at all, no. I mean, a year ago I was worried about his health, but he's, being, he's very healthy right now. Healthy, but still facing two more investigations of what he knew and did not know about the incident on that bridge. Though he says losing weight since his surgery last year changes perspective on the turbulent arc of career and life. I don't think I'm making it to 103. So I tell people all the time, you know, 50 made me recognize and acknowledge in my life, I am on the back nine. And what that means for me is, like, I don't want to waste any of it. And late tonight, one of the central figures in this event, someone who has not spoken out, is sending a message of her own. Bridget Kelly, former deputy chief of staff to the governor, whose emails have shown she was a participant before that traffic jam occurred. And ABC's Jess Eleni is here. He has been going over the statement. And I noticed that she doesn't go after the governor in any way. She goes after his lawyers on that report. You're right, Diane. This is the first we have heard from Bridget Kelly. She is the central figure in this. We wanted to know what she would say about Governor Christie. She only mentioned her lawyers, but she went after them hard. She said that the report was venomous, it was gratuitous, inappropriate sexist remarks, saying it has no place in what is alleged to be a professional report. So this didn't necessarily clear up any of our bigger questions about what her involvement was. She's important in this. She's the one who sent the email. It's time for those traffic closures. But clearly, this got her attention, and she's speaking out. And she is a key link between the governor's the, version of what he knew and did not know and what other people may be saying. We have so many more questions for her. All right. Thank you, Jeff Salonay.